Perfect. You didn't get no snow, though. <laughs> no, I did My superhero, man. So, um, and then I remember the last fight we had, me and my brother was fighting over a Star Crunch Pie, Little Debbie, Star Crunch Pie. Yep. And we kicked the front door in. We bust a fish tank. We broke a window. We broke the couch. My dad, I don't know where he was at. He was probably working to the back of the lane somewhere. My mom said, look, since I'm the oldest twin, I have a twin brother, Jason. Since I'm the oldest twin by one minute, you need to leave the house. So as I, I left the house that day. That's when everything changed. And we, we started, and every time we got in an argument, I had to leave the house, leave the house. And I started walking, walking, walking. And back in the day, we didn't have all the little stopwatches and the time for your steps. That's the only so, thing you could do when you grew up is walk. It wasn't like you was going to a store. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, but as I started walking, I went and got in the, I, I, I'm going to use my, the, the family car. I went and got a spray, spray paint can. And around my neighborhood, I, I, every mile, I, I got out and marked the X on the ground. Mile, mark the X. Mark the X. So I kind of had an understanding of what a mile was. Mm -hmm. From that point, I said, you know what? Hell with it. If I'm walking, let me start jogging. So I started jogging and jogging, but I was doing it more to relieve stress. It was nothing about, oh, I'm going to do this to get better. Uh -huh. I started jogging. I'm like, damn, this shit feel pretty good. Kept jogging. You know, one, two you know, laps turned to one mile, two mile, three mile, four mile. I think the most I was doing was seven miles. And I started running, and I started running like if, if it had a bad snow, uh, rainstorm, I ran through bad weather. I ran up behind the levee. I ran on the sand. I ran up and down the levee. I, I started doing these, these regular at-home workouts with no weights, no bands, no parachutes, no no nothing. Yeah, I started doing that. Then the, and then, bro, and then from ninth to tenth. Well, I know from eighth to, to, to ninth grade, we had a growth spurt. Mm -hmm. I probably did 25, 30 pounds, grew three inches. You know, and uh, but I started doing all those little things, man. Tenth grade year, I was a freaking animal on the field because of my endurance. Now, I mean, you know, naturally strong, good genes, genetics from my parents, but I was never a kid that hey, this kid gonna be the next blah blah blah. That never happened. But when I got in the 10th grade and started making plays and 130 tackles later and 10 sacks, and they said, man, this guy, he could be something. And my brothers was always there. It was always you know, watching, uh, you know, being a mentor. And 11th grade came. And, I mean, dude, it got to the point my last year in college, I mean, high school, I mean, I left, I left Louisiana second-rated player. Um, out, out of all high school players, I was 11th ranked defensive lineman. Uh, you know, I don't know, 140 tackles my last year, 20 plus sacks, 40 plus TFLs. I was a wrecking, I was a wrecking ball, man. On the field. I, th I mean, I think that's that. It's it's actually perfect for you to be the person because you know if if, if we're trying to tell people, okay, this is the mindset that you have to have going through there. It's not the mindset of somebody that was just so goddamn talented that. I was never that know. they made a mistake in the NFL and went, oh, you know what, uh, Jamarcus Russell, I guess we were wrong. It's not like that. It's like you worked the entire time yeah. to the point where, where you know it was almost like an underappreciation to the point where you rode it all the way to the damn Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that was it, man. Worked hard college. I mean, got in the car wreck my my my, my freshman year and had serious back injuries and wore a back brace for almost you know a, a, a body cast from here down to my hip for like. Two three months. That's got to be that's Louisiana healthcare. That's oh. not. <laughs> they don't. They wouldn't do that in Massachusetts. <laughs> a damn Forrest Gump body cast. <laughs> man, look, I went you so much, man. And I remember my, my, my freshman race shirt year. I started getting the pain in my back, and I, then I had spinal thesis. My L three L five was deteriorating. I had some fractures. I mean, I still got them today, but I've been using stem cell. But the thing is that. I remember, bro, when we they give us painkillers mm -hmm. by the bottles. I remember for the games, man. In college? Like, dude, yeah. Or in I mean, high school? I'm, 40, I'm 41, so I remember at the time. I'm was, 37. Was, we ain't that far away, man. Well, well, it was the Napa Sun. People say it different. Uh huh. And then I used to get, I used to get, uh, I used to get Vikes. I used to uh, Toradol. I used to get all kind of shit. I remember during the Dolphin set, 
I, used to, I remember the games, bro. I had like a little Ziploc bag. I have it sounds like a damn Eminem track. Bro, I, used to, I used to get them, and then like I pop before the game. I'm on the field chewing fucking painkillers, man. My first two years after I, I, I messed my back up. And I mean, but look, when I said I played with vengeance, I played, but I mean, I was shitting tears, man. Mm-hmm. I, bro, my first years at LSU, I mean, I was all American. I did this, I did that, but I played with pain, bro. And people could say they play with pain. I, I had a broken back, man. And I played, and they told me, look, Jarvis, you, Jack Marucci, he's the trainer there now. He's the same guy that made Marucci bats, the curse buster, the Boston Red Sox. He's the same trainer at LSU now, a good friend of mine. He said, look, Jarvis, you redshirted the first year. He said, you're going to have to do a medical redshirt. I said, can I curse on him? Yeah, you already did three damn times. Oh, this is the perfect oh, podcast, baby. Say whatever you want. I told Jack, I told the trainers, the doctor, I said, fuck y'all. Let me sign that fucking sheet of paper. I ain't doing no medical red shirt. You like gonna, L- LT in any given Sunday. I ain't going to be for no freaking six years. And they say, look, you could be paralyzed. I say, fuck it. I made this fucking fuck. And, you know, I had a higher power watching me. Yeah, you knew it was time. Listen, I'm going until that contract gets signed at this point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's make it or break it. <laughs> Raven, look, you're right. And my thing was, all my guys, I was so competitive. All my guys that came out with me out of high school, I didn't want them to pass me up. Mm-hmm. I said, I played this well. I said, hell.